Welcome back to the Rich Recipe channel. In today's class, we are going to learn how to make the lower part of this jumpsuit with is the pants. The pants is a free pants with side gode. As you can see, it has this pleated side gode on the side and it makes the pants really free, comfortable and it's really beautiful as we have seen. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this video. So to draft the the pants, I'm going to. There are several ways you can actually make this pants, but I'm going to just show you how you can make the other one. I have something similar on that. So what you need is your waistline measurement. This is my waistline. So from there, I took my crotch measurement. This is a jumpsuit, so your crotch is going to start from where the half length stop. It's not like a normal pants. So this is my crotch measurement. I'm still going to need my hip measurement later, but I don't need it now. So on this part, you can see that I have an allowance here, one inch allowance on the side, and then I ruled it to the hem like this. So I stopped here because my paper is not so long, but ideally this should stop at your actual hem. For me, that's 60. So when I'm transferring this to my fabric, so now my half length is 17. When I'm transferring this to my fabric, how hard the the necessary measurements that i need to make up the 16 inches that i will need so now i'll start taking my waist measurement here my waist is eight and a half okay divided by four that's 30 34 divided by four that's my waist measurement and that gave me eight and a half so here i'm going to mark it and half and i'm going to add a dart to this so I'll mark one inch for my dart and one inch for my same allowance so all together now from here remember i'm not taking the measurements from the allowance from here i have about 10 and a half inches on this waistline so i'll go back to my crotch now and mark the 10 and a half as well so i mark the same 10 and a half on this line and then i'll make it into a straight line so that i can get my crotch curve so for my crotch curve, I'm going to measure the fullest part of my thigh. For me, that's 30 inches. That's the fullest part. So that 30 inches, I'll divide it by 2. And that's going to give me 15. So this 15 inches, I'll measure it from here. i measure it from this allowance. And I'll measure all the way to here. So the 15 inches stops around here. So I just need to extend this crotch line just like this so the allowance that i have from here from this center line to this place i'll mark what i have there this is about three and a half inches so you can divide that into four or you just watch one inch from this corner so this is just a guide for your crotch so here i'm marking the one inch and then i'm going to use my curve ruler to connect my crotch curve so you just take it in bits and get a really nice curve so sorry the marker is not showing i'm covering from there and then again i'm going to connect from here to my to my curve okay so once you have something that just blends well i'm just going to connect them together like this okay so this is my Hole for the pants so the next thing i'm going to do now is to get my gator line so that i can shape the hem you don't necessarily need to shape it if you are working with a palazzo this measurement that you have here you can just take it down so this 15 inches that i have here i can just go ahead on this hem as well i'll just mark the 15 inches as well and then I'll connect it down straight down like this you don't want it so big you can just come in by one inch and connect but it's not necessary because we are still going to be increasing the side of this pant so it's still going to be as free as you want so you can just shape it a little bit 
that is what you want and just shape this side a little bit with your pant cuff and this is what it looks like now okay so you can see so now this is what we have so here i'm just going to take my that measurement remember i added one inch for that so my boss pan is four inches so from this center i'm marking the four inches and then here i'm going to come down by five for my for my that leg so you connect all of that together and i take a dot of half an inch on both sides and then you connect for your dart so after taking your dart measurement the next thing now is to shape the side of this pant so like i said to introduce the volume that you see there there are two ways you can do it you can connect from your side all the way to the crotch or you can connect the one i want to do just like we have on the thumbnail there i'm going to be connecting like i want to hide like a goddy just by the side this fullness is not going to get to the center remember this is our center where your crotch is is your center so all the fullness that i'm hiding is not going to get to this side it's just going to be on the side so to do that you can place it on your hip line my hip line is actually 26 inches which is around here but i want it a little bit above the hip so from my hip measurement i'm going to come up by around three inches okay so the three inches is somewhere here but before i connect i need to reconcile the side of my pants remember we started taking the measurement for the waist here and we started the measurement for the crotch inside this allowance so to get our hip cuff and to reconcile that measurement i'm just going to place a cuff driller here and then i will connect them together just like this so you can see now that our side is no longer straight it is now curved so i will just trim this part off a bit so by the time i cut the side off now we will now see the new shape that we have so now for the curve that i am making like i said i'm going to be coming up by three inches from my from my from my hip line i want it a little bit i i don't want it to start from the hip line so this is where i'm starting my curve from so you can see so depending on what you want if you want it to enter into your crotch they are going to connect from this side all the way to your crotch just like this you just need to leave a little allowance to sew the gathers but for me like i said i don't want the fullness to be at the center area it's just going to be on the side so for that i'm going to just get my dart line like a reference point so remember this that for the dart line i measured four inches from this center line so the four inches is somewhere here so i'll just note that it can go anyhow you want but i just want us to have a measurement to it so that we'll have something to work with so from there from there i'm going to connect from this side to this center line first with my curve driller so i'm connecting from there to my center line which is here and then from there i'm going to connect to the hem so it's not up to you you can maintain this four inches gap and then do it all the way straight line just like this so you can just continue and connect all the way straight down and then if you want it to go inwards more you just bend it a little bit but for me i think i'm just going to maintain what i have so with the help of my controller again i'll just connect all the way just like this so this is how my pants is going to be and it's not going to stop here it's going to go all the way to the hem remember i'm still going for 60 inches so i'll go ahead now and cut this out remember i came in by the side on my pants you can like i said you can leave it straight like this as well so i'm just going to add a little to that and then i'm going to cut it out so from there i'm going to cut out my crotch as well 
then after cutting the crotch my part is no longer full so this side i'm going to take it up just like this and i'm going to be replacing with another fabric which is going to serve as my goddess okay so this is what the pants looks like now so i'll use this to cut the back before we continue with our fabric so for the back i have placed this pattern on a fresh paper and then just do a few modifications the side remains the same for me but like i said if you want your your extension the fullness that you are adding if you want it to get to the to the center part of the pant all you just need to do is to connect from here to the crotch so that all of this part is not going to be here you're just going to replace it with your pant okay so that's all you need to do but i want mine to also i want i don't want the fullness to get to the center of the back as well so i'm going to cut this side exactly the same way i have cut the front okay and then the modification is just going to be at the center so what we are doing at the center here on the crotch area i'm going to extend this by two inches here you can do two and a half or three if the person has a big bone so here on the crotch i'm extending the crotch by two inches which stops here and then on this crotch line this center arc here i'm going to extend this by one and a half inches as well <coughs> excuse me so after extending that by one and a half inches here on the on the waistline i'm going to come up by one inch for my bum rise that's for the back and for the front i'm going to go down by one inch or three quarter of an inch and then i'm going to reconnect it so you can see now that i have gone down by three quarter of an inch for my front and then i'll go ahead and reconnect it to my side just like this so this just looks like we are going down we are going up by around two inches for the front if you measure from where this stops so you can see so this is a jumpsuit and it's going to have a zipper at the back so for the zipper here i'm going to start marking my zipper allowance so i'm marking it from where this new bum rest this new bum rest now i'm going to connect it to the side as well for the front remember we are going to show it on the side and they have to match so you can see i have connected it so for my zipper at the back i'm adding one inch allowance for that and then you're going to connect that all the way to wherever your allowance is going to stop and then you make that into a straight line so all of this is for my zipper and then i'm going to reconnect my new crotch just like this so you can see so now after connecting like this i'm going to go ahead and connect this to this side to the side of the pant so that's the only modification i'm doing to the back now i'm going to cut out the pattern as well so i've cut out the pattern i'm just going to try to transfer my that to the back as well you can use your tracing wheel to to do this and then i'm going to detach the front and back so this is my pattern for the back so you cut two of this and when you're cutting on your fabric remember that this has to get to your full length measurement and this is the front so here for the front i'm just going to fold in the the dart and then i will cut out the 0.75 that i went down with on the front as well just to give you that v-shape illusion there so i'll take this to my fabric now and cut it out and then i'll bring it back to show us the next thing to do so i have gone ahead to cut it on my fabric and as you can see i extended to meet the 60 inches length that i need so before I sew in the side body, I want to sew the trouser first so that it will be easy for me. So to do that, I'll go ahead and sew it on the crotch area. I'm going to sew in my darts. 
then after that i'm going to join the front and back together by the side this video is already very long so i'm sure we know how to join our pants you just need to sew the crotch together front and back separately then after that you detach your pins and then you join the side of the trouser together and then you sew the inner side as well so i'll do this now I'm gonna head to sew it. You can see my darts are joined. I have joined the crotch and then I joined this side. Remember, the side is just little. I'm going to be plating the other side with the godet. So, this is the part that is the center of both the front and back. I have joined it to the hem. So, the next thing now is to mark what you will need for your godet. So, for us to see it well, I'm going to bring back our pattern. So this is our original pattern so from here the garden is going to be sewn from here all the way to this point so from here now i'll just sew it straight down i'm just going to be pleating from here to here so that's what i mean by that to know the amount of fabric that you will need you will need to measure from here to here okay i'm measuring nine inches because i will still sew here so this is not part of it and you must have sewn it before you decide to join them together so i will assume that i've sewn the front and back just like i have it sewn here you can see i have sewn it together so what i'm going to do now is to bring in this pattern and notch that place where i'm going to sew it so you can see that i used around one inch to sew so now i'm bringing it together and i know that the godet is going to stop here so on that point i'll go ahead and notch so that it will be easy for me to sew when i get to my sewing machine so you can see now so what you just need to do is to take that measurement from your from one notch to another so you can see our notches so you go ahead take your tape and mark from here you measure is about nine inches and then you go over to the next notch and i have about 17 and a half which i can approximate to 18. so that is what i have so to know the width of the fabric that you are going to use depending on how how full you want it to be you can multiply that 18 by 2 or by 3. so i don't have too much fabric if i multiply 18 by 2 i'm going to have 36 inches so the width that i'm going to be cutting for the godet is going to be 36 inches in width so for the length now i'm going to be using the longest length which is this size okay let me bring back the pattern so you can see now that this part is going to be longer than this so that's the length i'm going to use so from here now i'm going to mark from here all the way to the full length of my pants so from here you're going to mark from here all the way to your full length so marking this now to my full length i have about 40 inches so you can see so i have about 40 inches to my full length so what i'm going to cut out now is a fabric mm -hmm. of 36 inches width the width is going to be 36 inches and the length is going to be 40 inches so i'm going to shape it to rhyme with this because remember when you sew it to your pants this part is 30 this part is 40 inches yes but as you go down you can see that it is no longer straight when you get to this part it will be too long so we are going to reconcile it so that it can be accurate so i have my fabric here i have gone ahead to cut out this fabric this fabric is 38 inches by 40 inches so the length of this fabric is 40 and the width is 38 so i'm going to put it on fold this fold point here is going to be this side you can see i have notched it this is going to be this side that's because i have already joined the front and back together so there is no seam there let me show you what i'm trying to say so this part now that i'm sewing it to you can see the front and back is already joined together so that is why i will not have any seam there so this fold point here i'm going to place it like this and that fold point is the highest point which is here this is the lower point that i want to trim to match up with what i have so you can pleat it first before you do this or you can do this and then go ahead to pleat on your machine so i'll just trim it first before i go and pleat it so i'm trying to arrange this fabric well so after arranging it well, I'll go ahead and shape this up. So to shape it now, what I'm going to do is to place my pattern like this. So this is the longest part. So I want to know 
what I need to cut off from here for this to match up with what I have. I don't know if you understand it. This is 40 inches length. Obviously, you can see that this is lower. So this is lower by, I think, around 5 inches or so for it to match up with this length that I have here. So it is this, it is this excess now that I want to cut off so that I will not have this in excess by the time I join it to the rest of my pants. I hope we get that. So now, to trace it up, I'm just placing the pattern like this in a straight form so that I can try to mirror where this stops or you can just make sure it's just like I did. So you can see it is on this level now. So I'm going to be cutting this off. So to cut this off, before I cut it off, I'm not just going to cut it off. What I'm going to do now is to connect in a slanting form just like I have it on this pattern so you can see. I'm just going to keep slanting like this till it gets to that point which is here and then with my scissors I'm going to go ahead and cut it off so you can see so now by the time I sew it off it's going to rhyme with what I have on my pants so after two minutes now you can see now that it is not the same this is higher than this which is what we want so after doing this I'm going to go ahead and open it up and then I am going to start to pleat it back to the 18 inches that I need so just go ahead and pleat so after pleating it what we are going to do is to sew it to this part I have done the one for this side so let me just show you what it looks like so you can see you can see so this is the pant I just pleated this now and then you're going to go ahead and iron your pleats you can see my crotch this is my crotch here and this is the center like I said I don't want the pleating to get to the center front that was why I cut it together with my pants you can see now that the front was cut together with the pants so this is the center front all the way to the hem and if you can see you will see that because we trimmed it it matches very well on the hem you can see the selvage area it matches very well so, so you need to cut off that excess that makes this part longer than this part so for the other side now i'll just go ahead and pleat this okay so after pleating this i'll just sew it to the open part which is this okay i'm just going to sew it to this side so you're going to please once you get to this m you are pleating from here it becomes straight please don't get confused so once you please and you sew remember this is the upper part where we where we trimmed so once you start pleating this is the notch and you get here you are just going to sew this straight down you are not going to pleat you are only pleating the 38 inches that we hemmed and you are going to place it back to your actual 18 inches so after sewing these 18 inches to the 18 inches that we measured here from notch to notch remember we measured from notch to notch and it was around 17 and a half inches so you are going to sew that to it and once you get to where your notch stop the remaining length that you have here it's no longer going to be 40 because we have reduced it. We are going to have about 35 or so. You are just going to sew it straight down to the hem of your pant. So I'll sew this as well and bring it back to show us. So I have gone ahead to sew the goddy to the other side as well and you can see what the pants looks like you can see how simple it is to make this and how beautiful it looks so it depends on how may, how you want your front to be if you want the front to even to if you want the place to be closer you just need to curve the, your hand you just need to bend your hand when you're making the curve this is what the side looks like you can see that it's equally beautiful I hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me. If you enjoyed it, let us know in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.